That's the most romantic riff, according to R.J. Ronquillo. I think he did it in his, uh, one of the recent videos, he played it right in his uh, demo for a Strat or something. <clears throat> anyway, I had an epiphany on my run today, and after the theme song, we're going to talk about it. See you in a sec. So I went for a run this morning and I realized that I like to make vlogs when I'm running. So the reason for that is because I, I uh, it helps me think, you know, what's going on with my hair here. Anyway, I, I, uh, I get ideas for songs. I, uh, you know, when I have a problem that's bothering me, uh, I can think of it, uh, of a solution usually when I'm running. And so uh, today I had a, I had this revelation, this this epiphany. Uh, you know, I did a, a vlog a couple years ago. Uh, I think it was a bonus ish episode, and it was about our musicians' narcissists. And you know, uh, the the feedback from uh, the uh, viewer comment was. Uh, you know that if you if you're wondering if you're a narcissist, you're automatically not a narcissist. So I like that, but uh, I think that the idea of being obsessed with yourself and thinking about yourself a lot is something that musicians tend to do, and actually people do, and and there there's probably a good reason for it. Okay, I for for. Better or worse, I consider myself a romantic. I've had a lot of different girlfriends, and I've had some wives too, and I've loved them all. And uh, I've had a lot of uh, opportunities to get my heart broken. And you know, when I was a kid, I I thought it was it was very simple. You found somebody you loved, and if they loved you back, then everything was good. It was happily ever after, but that uh, that idea got quickly erased uh, when my first girlfriend broke up with me after only a couple weeks. I think that it's a lot of people in this in this generation in this in our country uh, are you know have been divorced at least once and uh, sometimes more than once, like myself, and so when you get your heart broken okay you, you've fallen in love with somebody and they don't love you back or they don't love you enough back or they you know they live too far away or there's you know a million reasons why it doesn't work out there's many reasons to have a heart heartbreak heartache okay you could lose your pet you know a cat or a dog you could lose one of your friends one of your relatives all of these things cause you pain and so you have to go through a process. You have to have a mourning process, but also you have to think, uh, you know, did I do, what did I do? What is my part in this whole thing? Why do I feel this way? You know, so all of a sudden you start looking inside yourself and saying, oh, you know, uh, I, you know, I did this wrong or I did that wrong, you know, or, you know, how am I ever going to find a, another pet? Am I ever going to find another soulmate? You know, and all these things. And I think the only way out of it is to think about yourself and think, well, who am I? What do I want? What do I want from, from somebody? What do I want for, for myself? What do I want for my life? Being in love is a good thing, too. It's important. But 
there's other things that you need to have because love is not enough. I'm sorry, you know, it's sorry, Beatles. It's not all you need. You know, it's the, it's, you definitely need it. You need it. But you know, if, if, if the, the object of your affection loves a, a, a political candidate that you cannot stand, you know, you know, you can try and, you know, skirt around it and whatnot. But, you know, when you're watching the TV, what are you going to do? Is she shut up or are you going to yell at the TV? So these are things that are all important, you know, to have the same values. And, and you don't know that. When you meet somebody and you fall in love with them, a lot of times it's just that, you know, what... Yeah, that animal attraction, you know, that's, that's sort of it built into your DNA, you know, and you say, oh, we're some from the same tribe or, you know, or something like that, you know, and you think that's it, you know, and they're, they're good looking, they're handsome, they're, they're cute, they're, you know, they, they're a good kisser, you know, they, they like to touch, they don't like to touch, whatever is your preference is, is, is important too. But these are all important things, but it's also important to have the same value and to have, the, to want the same thing, to have the same goals. Anyway, uh, I'm going to play some a little bit now once uh, my amp gets charged up. <laughs> some romantic sounding things, right? Sort of. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, here's uh, my trusty PRS. I got new tuners on it. I don't know how I pointed that out. Uh, there are the uh, locking tuners, and I also got a hip shot here on the back. Let me see. So I hit that. have the spark over here. The spark has been modified a little bit to uh, to be busking a busking thing. We have a, a, a rechargeable battery there that powers the thing. 28 volts. Anyway, that's all I got for this episode. Have a good week. See you later. Thanks for watching.